ora whanau, mama di up in the whare, anō. So today is day 13. Now I personally haven't seen any changes yet. However, Auntie Sue, Auntie Sue, right here, she's seen a change in my physical body already. Like my shoulders aren't so all up in my face and they're a bit further down and um, my whanaunga wikitoria she was telling me that my eyes aren't as yellow as they were that makes me feel good because yellow is a sign of jaundice which means that the liver's not functioning properly so that means that somewhere along the line this cap juice that i'm doing is cleansing my liver who the funk? Anyhow, um, it's a little bit late tonight because, oh, you wouldn't know, um, <laughs> um, because we had our poi wananga today with Wikitori and Mori o te poi, um, and it has been full on amazing matauranga poi day moving our energies out and around and being able to place poi in Morako and Morako in poi is just like freaking next level guys um and the biggest thing that i got out of today was empowerment we have so much power within ourselves we just don't know how to channel we just don't know how to utilize it and we're undervalued um that's another kōrero for a different kaupapa um because this is about my cap juicing i better stay to task because <laughs> i might just go off in a minute and um go into that space but if you want to know about it hit up wikitoria on mauri o te poi here on facebook so mauri o te poi on Facebook, hit her up and see when her next wānanga is and um, and what's going on and yeah then you too can have that mātauranga first hand, well, tonga tuku iho to her, to Wikitoria and she passes it on to us and today was just next level anyway i'm freaking hammered my fibro was playing up all day yesterday the day before and today so just touching my body i know this sounds weird just touching my my arms my kids think it's funny and my back um can just a little touch like that can feel like i have been punched so i have um and so my body's extra sore today. However, doing the poi really kept my um, ihi, wehi, even my wairua up, you know. Um, we had to perform today as our rako, as, as our poi, because we utilised poi wairua. So, which, if you, wairua is spirit, but it's also meaning to so the balance of poi and yin and yang poi. good bad but there really isn't any good bag it just what good and bad it's just what is and i'm talking too much anyway day 13 cap juice carrot apple orange uh, carrot carrot apple potato <laughs> yeah that's such the p down the hatch folks So, for those who are juicing out there, and who are old hats at juicing, if you've got any tips for me, or for anybody else who might be looking at this, um, put it in the comments. I might not see it today, or whenever I think, but I will get on there. So, um, it, yeah, I'm just doing the last part of the cat juice. my video stopped and had to deal with that 
because I ran out of space on my phone, so I have really forgotten what I've said. <laughs> this is the last of the cat juice, so I'm down to two carrots, so it looks like I'll be going shopping tomorrow for some carrots. Almost finished all my apples and my potatoes, so... Mm. With Anzac Day tomorrow, isn't it? Thank you to all our tupuna who've gone on before us, who fought for our country to bring peace. So I just wanted to say again, that is day 13, and the cap juice is so day 13. I'm just going to say something, so you can block your ears if you want, but... This is about. <clears throat> so one thing I noticed about the cap juice is that I fart. Like put it all and hung it as. And when I was telling Sue that, she goes, good, it's all coming out. And I'm like, oh. So thank goodness it's just me and my fuddy at the moment. Because, man, I would knock my mukupuna out. With just a fart. And, um, yeah. Um. I think that's about it okay folks if you always do what you've always done you'll always get what you've always got um, so if you want to make the change if you want something to change and to move then you need to do so you know remember what I said in one of my things two millimeters shoulders back head up get a different perspective I don't know get on the ground have a look at something from a different perspective jump up on a chair <laughs> Um, if you've got an issue, jump up on a chair. I might just, like, oh, things look different from up here. You never know. The thing is, if you're going to push somebody up, that means that you're down, right? So you can't really give full force. But if you're up and you can pull somebody up, um, more power to you. It's in the pulling and that they will get up. And help themselves up. So if you're a family friend, um, anybody who can see somebody who needs a helping hand, then give them a helping hand. Okay, don't do it for them, but give them some tools if you've got them. And if you don't, then ask. Um, yeah, and you just never know what might happen. <clears throat> I'm talking a lot. I know. Anyway, Mama D out. See you tomorrow.